What's going on everybody? My name is Wolf21 and I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server using Bucket on Windows. I'm running Windows XP. Uh, you should be able to run this in Windows 7. Um, also for Vista. Just make sure you don't have any rights issues or you have admin access on your machine or can run stuff as administrator before you get any like, weird prompts or pop-ups. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to, to bucket.org and you're going to get the bucket screen that's going to come up. Um, as always, as for the last um, server video that I did, this page will change. This has changed dramatically since the last time that uh, there was a bucket update. The posts will change. Links, locations will change. So if you come across this a couple weeks from now on Minecraft updates again, this might change. So don't troll this video and be like, the links aren't there. Just go to bucket.org. Do your research, look at the page, and see where, where the download link might have gone. I was like, Craft Bucket, Get Craft Bucket here was never here before, or the Get Plugins was never there before. So, just so that's clear, um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to create a folder. I'm just going to create it on the desktop for now and call it Bucket. And we're going to leave that window open. Now, what we're going to do here is um, look, check to see if they have the latest. Um, recommended build because it's probably the most stable version for Craft Bucket, which there happens to be a download link right here. Now, you might come across this later. This link might not be here. So, again, look at the page and see of what the recommended build is. If Get Craft Bucket isn't here, it may have the location might have moved somewhere else, but please do your research, even search on here of where. Craft Bucket download is. Since the download cr Craft Bucket for Minecraft 1.5 dash underscore zero two is right here, we're going to download it right here. Save as. We're going to save it directly into the bucket folder that we just created. Now it's downloaded. Okay. I'm going to close out of that. Now, if you click on Get Craft Bucket up here, like I said again, the link can change. Um, there's notes right here. So it says, download the latest recommended build, put the jar file into the desired directory, which we did, put it into the, our bucket folder, and then in Notepad, type this. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to highlight all of this, hit Control C to copy it. We're going to right click in our folder, new text document or any way that you can create a text document. We'll leave it like this for now. We're going to double click it to open it up. We're going to paste all that text in that we copied from the website and we're going to save it and we're going to close it. Now for Windows XP to get to see the extension on files, you have to go to uh, tools, folder options, in the view tab, you can do uh, trying to see actually where it is. <laughs> Here, hide extensions for known file types. You want to make sure that's unchecked and click OK, then so you can see the extensions of files. And this one, going back to the directions, it says it as run.bat, not as a text. So we're going to rename this as run dot bat and then yes to confirm now it's actually a batch file for executables for within windows and then you're done you just double click and run it you might get some warnings at first which is fine now it's creating the world you'll see that the files are being generated You shall let this go through. And while this is going, what we can do is we can find out what the IP address of this computer is by going down to start. 
run or start search, you should be able to type in CMD for command prompt. It might be something different for Windows 7. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, you can look it up on Google to see how to find it for your personal IP address. Um, if you type in IP config, it'll tell you your Ethernet adapter and my IP address is 192.168.1.11. Again, this is an internal IP address. No one from the outside world could ever connect to this. So this is just for testing purposes so that you can run Minecraft and see if you can connect to that, that IP address. Okay, it's loaded, it's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into Minecraft. We're actually gonna test this out to make sure that it works. I have the John Smith texture pack on right now. It's pretty cool. Okay, so it's 192.168.1.11. Connect. Oh. Oh, I'm falling. <laughs> World is being generated. And I'm falling really quick. All right, simply just went back into the world again after I re disconnected, and now the world's up and running. And this is the world that it spawned. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to disconnect from here and close Minecraft. You can tell by the console here that um, it shows that it did connect through the same IP address that the server's on. So you could definitely test to see if the server's actually up and running. And now when you go to the bucket folder where you had copied the craft bucket file, you're going to see the world that it generated, banned IPs, banned players, some YML files, ops, server logs, server properties, which is going to be important, whitelist, and plugins. Now your server properties file is going to contain all the information about your server that you can tweak. Uh, don't want to do that. I want to right click. Choose open. So the program from list. I uh, want to do notepad. Don't want to always open that with notepad. Okay, here we go. So this is where you get to name the world. The hello world is false. The, this is where you can choose to spawn monsters. You can choose to spawn spawn monsters or not. Online mode. Spawn animals. The max players. Server IP, this is the IP address of, it, of your server. So in this instance, it's 192.168.1.11, or depending on whatever your IP address is. <coughs> BVP to be true or false. If it's true, then you can kill each other. If it's false, then you can't. If you want a specific seed for the world, the port, the default port is 25565. Allow flight. Which means, if for some reason, if you get stuck on a fence, if I'm not sure if they fixed it yet, um, it's considered that you're being that you're flying in Minecraft, and you'll actually get disconnected. Whitelist. So this is important. You want this to be true. If your your server is going to be host is going to be on the internet for your friends to join, and the spawn protection is 16. So since we're going to change the whitelist to true, we're actually going to close this. Save, exit, and what you can do from the console itself is what you can do is you can go whitelist, add wolf21, then wolf21 is added to the whitelist, and you can do this for any other person. You can also go into the whitelist text file and list everyone off right down the line. And obviously save it and close it. Now, if you want your server to access the internet, this is where it gets a little different. This is a little sketchy. Every system is different. Um, I'd love to do a tutorial on every possible aspect of how to get your server out to the internet. It's a little bit more difficult because everybody's setup's different. Everybody has different routers. Everybody has different providers. You could have satellite, you could have cable, you could have fiber, you could have 
a dial up your modem could be directly connected to your computer you can have a router which then you have to go into your router and and forward the port the most important thing is that you have as long as you if you don't have a firewall which technically you should you have to forward the port 25565 which is the default port for minecraft and forward it to whatever your ip address is of, of your system if you do not do that people will not be able to connect to your system from the outside world again there's a, a billion different setups i can't go through every single one of them just please go on google.com it's one of the best known search engines out there if you haven't known already do your search on what service provider you have and specifically if you have a router in your home how to connect to it and get to port forwarding within your router again i hope this helps out the next tutorial i'm going to do is how to install plugins and if you want to bring your single player world into your multiplayer world remember leave a thumbs up if this has helped you out and always remember to rock on